everyone. So today we are at Mama Lucy Kibaki Hospital and this is where the national event for World Prematurity Day is being marked. This is done once a year and as you can see the banners are all out and the theme for today is together for babies born too soon caring for the future so with me is uh, Crispin Deda and he's a pediatrician and he'll be able to tell us something about the World Prematurity Day so Chris yes. good morning good morning Lynn. yeah so tell us something about this day the World Prematurity Day is a celebration, it's a global celebration, a day on which the world uh, remembers and talks about babies who are born early, too early, let's say before 20, 37 weeks of gestation. Yeah. We are aware that the uh, uh, mother should be pregnant for about 40, 40 weeks, 30, 40 weeks mm -hmm. before delivery. When they are delivered early, yeah. they are called preterm pre or premature babies. Yes. Preterm births is among the world's main causes of death yes. for newborns. Mm -hmm. They die because they are born when the systems are not mature yet, yeah. and they don't have enough immunity. Some are not able to breathe at birth. Some may not be able to feed. And so they have multiplicity of problems, and that's why prematurity is a major, major cause of death of the newborns. Mm -hmm. For this reason, the world picks on this 17th day of November of every year yeah. as the, to be marked as the World Prematurity Day, when we educate the communities about the burden of preterm births and how to take care of the preterm births so that they are not, they do, they do not have to die because there are cost-effective interventions that have been able to make them survive. Okay. Uh, being preterm is a issue, which, uh, it's a cultural issue also. There are communities which consider a baby too, born too early to be an omen, a bad omen. Some of them may just be left to die mm -hmm. or just be eliminated. Some, some marriages break. There are a lot of myths and misconceptions about babies who are born too early okay. and too small. So this day is just to let the... It's an advocacy day. Mm -hmm. And uh, we do we have some uh, experiences uh, shared or um, that will depend on how the day has been planned? Yes, uh, I'm sure even within this state there are those parents who have had, who have nurtured babies who are born preterm. Mm. There is an uh, intervention we call kangaroo mother care. Yeah, as you can is, see, this is what we are calling yes. kangaroo mother correct, care. Correct, correct. Yeah. The babies who are born preterm mm -hmm. are not able to regulate their temperature as well. Yeah. And we don't have enough incubators. Yeah. So it has been found that there's a way babies can be wrapped onto the, the caregiver or the mother. Skin to skin, they are wrapped and they, they can remain there for as, as long as uh, 18, to 20, uh, 18 hours plus a day. Yeah, and I can see it is actually here the father who's, uh, who has put the baby skin to skin. Does yes. it also work or is it only yes. for the mother? What, what the benefits from kangaroo mother care, this is kangaroo positioning. Yeah. The main benefit here is that the, mother, the, the father can provide warmth. The baby gets direct warmth from the, from the father. But when you give it to the, when it's the mother doing it, you realize that the baby is also, will also be very near the breast. Mm. So the baby can feed. That is called kangaroo nutrition. Okay. They can feed, the baby can feed at any, at any time. So anybody can be trained on how to position and wrap the baby skin to skin with his or her body. So it's just about warmth mm -hmm. and bonding, yes, especially and if it's the mom doing it. Yeah. Then they're able to breastfeed uh, on demand. Yes. Tell us about the weight of uh, the prem prematures. Aha. Uh -huh. Most preterms, pre in fact, all preterms uh, are born are born low weight. Yeah. So any weight that is uh, below 
two kilograms at birth is considered to be low birth weight. Uh, a birth weight which is below 1.5 kilograms is considered to be very, very low birth weight. Mm. And, go, and below that we get the extremely low birth weight. Below, the, the preterms and the low birth weights share the same problems, the same challenges, survival challenges. Mm -hmm. So they also need to, they all need to be put into kang in kangaroo position mm -hmm. and have to be able to be managed using kangaroo mother care. And what is the main cause? What is really the main cause of children being born uh, too yeah. soon? Mm -hmm. The in Kenya, what is the main cause? It's not very clear, but uh, there has been a lot of association between the, ma the mother's nutritional status, the mother's health, and the, and, the, and the disease conditions that may occur during pregnancy that may be related to the result of the baby being born too soon. Is there a relationship with uh, the mother taking IFAS when they are pregnant? Correct. When a mother takes IFAS as recommended throughout pregnancy, mm. the weight of the baby is usually increased. In fact, one of the, w the main ways to prevent low birth weight is by promoting the consumption of iron and folic acid tablets for the whole 270 days of of, uh, of pregnancy. Okay. So failure to take IFAS is among the predisposing factors to low birth weight and preterm birth. So, in as much as we are talking about uh, prematurity, we also need to emphasize the need for mothers to take IFAS throughout pregnancy. Not even not even taking IFAS alone, but yeah. going for antenatal care yeah. so that the predisposing factors can be discovered early enough mm -hmm. and interventions put in place mm -hmm. so that they can also start being provided with iron and folic acid to take throughout the, throughout the pregnancy. Okay, thank you so much. Um, we will move to the um, KMC room yes. and just see what Mama Lucy Hospital are doing about it. We'll so, talk to you yeah. later. Yeah.